When you think of golf carts, you're probably thinking of the obvious, golf. But one group of seniors in the villages is taking their favorite mode of transportation to the next level. I spent the day with this one-of-a-kind group to see exactly what they can do. Get ready for Sidewinder. This shift now. It's Glenn Darby's look up and down the road Tuesday morning. And make sure you're synced. Leading a group of eight people in routine stunt after stunt. Keep your spacing as tight as you can. These seniors, they're turning their favorite mode of transportation into a thrill-seeking pastime, living their golden years. This is what the old people do. <laughs> on the edge. The flying golf carts were moving fast and we're stunt pilots, I mean, we're stunters. And so when you have something that's flying, you're a pilot. The flying golf cart stunt pilots execute synchronized maneuvers with their carts. This team practices every week, walkie talkies in hand, seatbelts on and engines running. They make magic. You've never seen it before, right? <laughs> Keeps, it makes it very unique. With 20 stunts on hand, they're always bringing something new to the table. Darby says this is what he lives for. This is the only thing I do. There's 3,000 clubs in the villages that you could join, but this is the only one that I'm doing right now. It's the thrill that keeps members coming back for more. To move like that, to cut in and out and, you know, things you'd like to do in traffic and can't, you know, you'd get arrested. <laughs> While golf carts are a common sight in the retirement community, moving this way now and that way is not something you see every day. Residents line the streets just to watch these silver-haired daredevils. The spectators just love it. They've never seen anything like it before. The team does at least two performances every month in the villages with six decorated carts, the game plan in place. Just very relaxed. Easy breathing. And people ready to watch. We're going to take off in about 10 seconds. Darby gets the show on the road. For a little bit of creative chaos. And just like that, these stunt pilots take off. <laughs> flying down the streets. <laughs> the audience gripping their lawn chairs at the thrill of it all. We're doing, you know, controlled chaos out there on the street. They're watching us and they're laughing, they're smiling, they're ooing and eyeing because they can't believe how close we are to this stuff. But not everyone is cut out for this. I truly don't think we've ever said no to anybody. But we have said, had people say no to us. <laughs> Instead, people like Marty Seltzer would rather watch from the sidelines. It would probably be wrapped, ar wrapped around a tree or or, or, or somebody else's golf golf cart if I ever tried to do something like that. These stunt pilots leave everything on the street, and in return, they get applause, <laughs> laughter, <laughs> and praise. It was, they did a fantastic job, well coordinated, lots of practice, obviously, they've done. But beyond the good reaction from the crowd, <laughs> Darby says it's the people that keep him coming back for more. I, I, I like going fast, and I like doing stunts. And so does everyone else that's on the team. So when we can sit here and do this together in an area that's cordoned off so that we can really expand our experience, it's just fantastic. And as long as the wheels on the golf carts keep going round and round, Darby and his team will continue to live life in the fast lane. In the Villages, Ophelia Jacobson, WUFT News.